and welcome to day two of the three days to healthy eating challenge. I am so excited to be here again. On day two, I'm gonna show you an amazing, delicious recipe. And day two is all about getting rid of the obstacles to health. So really taking out what's not serving you in your life and um, getting rid of those, moving them out so you can crowd out with the good, healthy alternatives that can come in and fill up your life and say goodbye to those obstacles. In the challenge, if you do want to join the three days to healthy eating challenge, you could still join. We're on day two. Day one has passed. Um, I hope that all the challengers have done their day one homework, which was all about um, looking at your why, your big why, setting up your mindset right, seeing what serves you, what doesn't serve you. Day two is all about getting rid of the obstacles to good health. And day three will be all about implementing the helpers and the accelerators to good health. So what I want to make today is actually a dragon bowl. It's been inspired by a delicious sauce at a local restaurant called Eau Vivre, and it's called the dragon sauce. It's one of their most popular sauces. And what makes a really good bowl delicious is the sauce. So this recipe happens to be paleo friendly. Um, it happens to be vegan friendly and vegetarian friendly. It's basically like one big salad, but so much better. And the sauce really makes the meal. Okay, and what you want to look for in a sauce is really all different flavors that complement each other. You want to have some sour, some sweet, some savory, and that whole explosion of flavor is called umami. Okay, so we're going to get started with the sauce. That's the first step. First, I have um, tahini. So I have one half cup of tahini. So tahini is a, a sesame paste. So you can get this at the health food store. This is an organic version. So you can also find this at Middle Eastern stores. It's actually an amazing addition to your diet for salad dressings. You can make tahini cookies even. It's just really rich in protein and calcium. So if you do suffer from osteoporosis or any calcium deficiency, this is definitely a number one food to include in your diet, tahini. So a half a cup of tahini paste. It kind of looks like uh, any nut butter. It's a paste. Let's put that all down here. And then we have another ingredient which might be new to you. It's called nutritional yeast. And it's basically um, yeast flakes. Don't worry if you have candida, this is not a yeast that's gonna affect you. And it's basically high in B12. So for any vegans out there who are deficient in B12, this is a great addition to your food. You can just top your food with it. It's like a condiment, it's like a powder. It tastes really delicious. It's great on popcorn if you want to make like fake cheese popcorn. So one cup of nutritional yeast flakes. You can usually get this at a health food store. If you do buy it in bulk though, and you are looking for the B12, beware because the bulk version, does it never says B12. It's only very specific companies that have fortified it with B12. So if you are looking for B12, don't go for a, a conventional nutritional yeast. Go with a specific one. It's usually a packaged one that says B12. Okay, added to it. So one nice cup, this gives it a really tangy, delicious flavor to the sauce. One cup of nutritional yeast and our tahini. And I have some grapeseed oil. I haven't used olive oil or coconut oil or any other strong oil in this recipe because I find that the grapeseed, um, and also sunflower would be good in here, tends to be very neutral, it's soft, it doesn't really have a strong flavor, it doesn't take over in any way. So I have about three tablespoons of my grapeseed oil. I have my tamari sauce. So this is a, a sauce made of fermented soya beans. If you are staying away from soy, which most of us should actually, um, sauce is just like sprinkled here and there. So it's not really the biggest deal, but um, this is, yeah, it's organic gluten-free soy sauce, um, but it's a tamari sauce. So if you are staying away from this, you can always get coconut aminos. Um, if you do get the Bragg's liquid aminos, it actually is soy. So some people think it's not, but it's soy. Um, but the coconut aminos would be good. So this is a quarter of a cup. I'm just kind of gonna eyeball it. And this adds that salty, savory flavor to the sauce. <laughs> okay. So this week, uh, sorry, today is all about really letting go of the obstacles to good health. And I talk about how there are different types, there are different fads 
and diets floating around, the GAPS diet, the paleo, the vegan, the vegetarian, the macrobiotic. I've said this you know, yesterday, so many different types of diets. It's very hot right now, lots of talk about it. But the point is that every single person is an individual, so you must customize the way that you eat and the things that you choose to eat to your specific individual needs, to your specific health condition. But that being said, there are four specific food groups that we go through in day two of the challenge that everyone can benefit from eliminating. And in fact, when you look at all these diets, you see that the, the main premise is to remove certain foods and then add in certain foods. It's very basic. Every single diet does the same thing. We're going to let go of the foods that we don't consider to be healthy or good foods, and then we're going to include the foods that we do consider to be good. So I think everyone can benefit from removing these four food groups. Gluten, especially wheat, okay, if you have any sort of digestive issues or inflammatory conditions, it's going to increase inflammation, especially the wheat because of the way that it's grown and, and the genetic modification. And wheat is just not, you know, a, a loaf of bread. Wheat is actually found in many processed and packaged foods. White refined sugar, everyone can benefit from removing white sugar from their diet. Packaged and processed foods, so you wanna take stock in your kitchen and make sure you remove all packaged and processed foods. And that, that one thing is just like a perfect, beautiful place to start. Just removing all the boxed, packaged, processed, canned, you know, once in a while, beans in a can, if they're a BPA-free can and they're organic, it's okay. But if you're eating a lot of canned foods, then you know, I, I don't suggest that. And then conventional dairy products um, do cause a lot of mucus and phlegm. A lot of people are, are dairy intolerant. I have excellent videos on my channel showing you how to make um, a dairy-free milk alternative. My 21 day detox reset program includes a cashew cheese and different nut milks. I have videos showing you how to make nut milks. So there are definitely really, really tasty alternatives, delicious alternatives. There's no reason why we have to turn to these inflammatory food groups. So if they do cause you problems, then maybe you wanna exclude them from your diet. Um, there are you know, conditions, of course, if you, if you, have, if you wanna populate your gut bacteria and your microbiome and you wanna include a dairy kefir, that's okay if it doesn't bother you, but if it does bother you, you might wanna look at a coconut kefir or a water kefir. So let me continue with the recipe. Um, so maple syrup, um, just a dash, just to really give it a sweetness, so one or two, teaspoons and then you want to thin out your sauce with water so I'm using a filtered water um, you guys probably might have a question about what kind of water I'm using it's the Berkey water filtration system that we have at home the reason we chose it is because it's a heavy-duty carbon filtration system and I actually got it when I was pregnant because with my first child because I wanted to make sure that I was drinking clean water as much as possible because our water does contain a lot of contaminants and I also like it very much because it's stainless steel, okay? So it's not uh, plastic. A lot of these, uh, you know, filtration systems will sit in a reservoir, and which is plastic. So this one happens to be stainless steel, which I like very much. And I'm going to blend up my sauce now. So this is my yummy dragon sauce. actually don't really need to use a blender for that you can actually do it by hand in a bowl and I'll just switch up my ingredients now I'm going to show you what I'm putting into the actual bowl so I've prepped these vegetables before I have this is the main the main exciting part here and what this is is if you are staying away from grains this is why I say it's a paleo friendly recipe it's a keto friendly recipe if you're staying away from grains this is actually riced cauliflower. So if you don't have a food processor at home, that's totally fine. What I did was I actually grated my the, the big head of cauliflower, I grated it directly on the grater, and I got this beautiful riced cauliflower. And if you wanna saute this a little bit, if you have digestive issues, first of all, if you are intolerant to any of the, um, the cruciferous vegetables because of your digestive issues, then you don't wanna make this recipe. But um, if the rawness of it bothers your tummy, you might wanna saute it a little bit in oil in a pan. But otherwise, it's delicious eaten raw. Once it absorbs the sauce, it actually softens up and you don't even taste really that it's so raw. So this is your cauliflower rice. It's kind of like fake rice. Believe it or not, Costco has this right now. You can actually buy a bag of riced cauliflower, but I like doing it fresh. It's much better, it just tastes more fresh in the bag. It just 
sits there and gets kind of slimy. So, so what you have here, you're assembling your bowl, basically. I'm about all about assembling things, trying to make things as easy as possible. So you have your cauliflower rice, you have some cut up red pepper. Make sure to get your peppers, green, red, orange, yellow peppers, organic. They are on the dirty dozen list, so they do contain a lot of pesticides. Make sure that you can stick to the dirty dozen list, so get your 12 fruits and vegetables organic as much as possible. And you know, make things easy. If you don't have a spiralizer at home, I didn't even use mine today, I just did it with an actual a peeler. So you can actually make these beautiful ribbons with a peeler. You don't have to have any fancy gadgets at home, guys. I have them and I haven't even used them today. So just some shredded, you can also shred it, you can grate it, but I just have these delicious um, carrot ribbons. And I have some ribbons of zucchini. So zucchini ribbons. How easy is this, guys? You could just prepare this at the beginning of the week. Just have like different glass Tupperwares in your fridge. Prepare your vegetables individually and then just assemble things together. So there's actually no excuse for unhealthy eating. It's actually really easy. This is not very expensive. It's quick. You can just assemble everything and prepare everything in advance. And then just some onion. So this is some, uh, you know, those long green onions. I'm just going to top it with that. And this bowl looks so beautiful too. The colors are really appetizing and beautiful. It makes you want to eat it. So make sure that you fill your plate with lots of colors because all of these um, vegetables contain lots of different phytonutrients and plant chemicals such as antioxidants, which are amazing for our health and they're disease fighting. And, and that's it guys. So you just want to pour your sauce on top. I'm so excited to eat this for lunch. If you do, you know, this does not include any protein. So if you are vegan or vegetarian, you might want to include some chickpeas or some aduki beans or mung beans on top of this or kidney beans, whatever. Black beans would be good here too. Um, if you do eat meat, you want to include maybe some lean protein, um, such as like a chicken breast or something on top of this bowl. And then you just want to pour your sauce right on top. How yummy. So there is your cauliflower rice dragon bowl. It's all raw, you can mix the sauce in and just dig into it, it's gonna be delicious. This is a recipe that comes directly from my 21 day detox reset program, which is launching on March 8th, um, 2018. It's an amazing program. It's basically 21 days worth of incredible meals, um, raw food meals, some cooked meals, some very healing meals to give your digestive system a rest. There's a bone broth, there's a vegan version of that broth, lots of smoothies, juices, um, cashew cheese, cauliflower crust pizza, decadent desserts. We are not deprived in this cleanse, let me tell you. It's really uh, delicious, it's decadent. You will be so satisfied. You're going to experience easier digestion, um, lots of energy because your body is not going to be compromised anymore towards digesting things that really don't serve you well. So really ab abundant energy, abounding energy, lots of vitality, vibrant skin problems begin to clear up, acne, because you're really nourishing from the inside out. It's not just about the food, but it also includes a very well-selected uh, supplement kit, which is mandatory for the detox program, which begins to open up the channels of elimination, the amunctory organs. We start to really cleanse out the liver, the gallbladder, the kidneys, the, uh, the respiratory system, the digestive system. So we're going to do this in a very specific order. It's well-guided. I'm a naturopath, so I'm going to guide you specifically through the sequence of how to do this. And there's a rebounding exercises, there's a yoga sequence for detox, there is um, explanations on how to do dry skin brushing. So, so many things, it's so well supported, how to do your own enemas at home if you want to. It's a beautiful, beautiful program that myself and a naturopath, other naturopath, Sevea, put together. We worked very hard on this and we're very proud of the program. We've had already some really successful participants. I'm going to be posting those on my page within the next week or two, but um, participants that just lost weight, felt better, had more energy, felt more clarity in their mind, less brain fog. It's a really wonderful program and I hope you stay tuned for it. If you are interested in this whole subject of revamping your life, what I call it actually is it's, it's a chance to hit the reset button on your health, okay? So that's exactly what this is, just in time for the new year, it is still the new year. 
then tune in this Saturday evening at 6 p.m. Um, there's already a link on my Facebook uh, group page and you can actually tune into a webinar where I'm going to be diving into five different steps that you can start taking to uh, cleanse out your body and start detoxifying and also to be able to identify where the toxins and the hidden toxins lie in your life so you can identify those and start removing those obstacles to health. And so tune in at 6, p at 6 p.m. this Saturday night. It's a wild Saturday night watching me on a webinar. It's going to be amazing. And I wish you a beautiful day, challengers. You know, you have this homework this week to post, to actually start filling out your diet and lifestyle diary. So do that. It's very beneficial. And you'll see some really big connections being made between what you put into your body and how you feel afterwards. So um, join me for day three of the challenge tomorrow and have a beautiful day, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And for those watching the replay, thanks for tuning in too. Bye.